Hey Libra, sorry it took so long. I guess if you've been watching my channel, you know first I was sick, then my computer broke down. So here I am. This is the like third time in two months that I've had computer issues. So or Wi-Fi issues. Before it was Wi-Fi issues. Anyway, so here we are. Um, November forecast. Thankfully, I'm not too, too late on this. I do apologize that you guys, you and Gemini, had to wait so long. But, November forecast. At least we're getting it out today. We're getting you and Gemini out today. This is going to be your reading for November 2019 for the month. I'm sure we will, I'll try and squeeze in some love readings later on in the month, too. But for now, I wanted to get a few general readings out for everybody. So, for anyone with Libra placements anywhere in your chart, feel free to attach to this reading if it's your reading. Okay, Spirit and Angels, anyone for the highest good, please send through the messages for Libra, anyone with Libra placements, for the month of November 2019. Please send through the most important messages for the people that need them the most that are going to be drawn to watch this reading on YouTube. There you go, Libra. Look at you coming out and speaking up about something. Libra. What else is important for Libra? For November. Oh, yeah. Letting go of that damn devil. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Bottom of the deck, too. Let me move all these up. Okay, so this is vice versa tarot. We don't read it in reverse because there's a different point of view on each side of the card. So if it's meant to be reversed, it'll be on the opposite side of the card. Okay, let's take a peek here. So, wow. Oh, wow. Nice. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Wow. All right. It's interesting. It seems like you just closed out a cycle. Look, see, in the past you had the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, needing to um, graduate from a big cycle, but it wasn't quite here yet. But all of a sudden you get a new beginning, you're manifesting the heck out of everything here with the magician, and you get to end something here, or transform it, and you're moving into something I feel brand new with that Ace of Wands there, moving into the unknown. It's Look, these people are in a boat, and they're moving into the unknown. And look how she's holding this giant cup of love. So they care about each other. And they know that they're going into, you know, it's a little scary going into the unknown. But guess what? Sometimes it's better than where you've been. So you have to look at it like, yeah, big leap of faith being taken here. I don't know where it's going to take me. I don't know what's going to happen. But sometimes it's better than where you've been. And sometimes when you're in love, or you care about someone, like this doesn't have to be love, obviously. Whatever it is, someone is definitely moving into something new, I feel. I feel like they're releasing toxic situations, toxic people, maybe a karmic, who knows? We're going to get into that. And they are going for something brand new that they're going to love. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups can be something you're going to just love. It can be love. It can be happiness. It can be joy and peace and spirituality. It can be so many things, but it's going to be something great. All right, now, so we're releasing negative things. We're going into awesome things. We're also losing the confusion. There was a ton of confusion around this situation before. There was all kinds of confusion. Now, we're gaining good perspective on everything, seeing things clearer, working on something really great here. Right in the middle of the reading, Eight of Pentacles. For some of you, you're working on something great. You're going to love it, whatever it is. For some of you, it could be a relationship. For some of you, it could be actual work. Some of you, it could be some big, amazing thing in your life that you're going to love. This is nice. Okay, so when we come into the reading, as I said, we're moving into the unknown. We just had something end or transform. Big. I love this death card. It's one, It's probably one of my very favorite cards in this deck. Look at it. Beautiful. And I feel really good about it. You've been manifesting with the universe. You got this brand new Ace of Wands coming in. Wow. I mean, these are great cards at the bottom of your deck for sure. 
I love the death card in any deck, really, because it means things are finally moving, transforming. Things that needed to go are going to go, and we're going to move. We're on the move here with the Six of Swords, moving into the unknown. With the um, Knight of Swords here, I feel like it's full speed ahead. That's what I'm feeling. We're moving full speed ahead. That's exactly what I'm feeling is happening here. Um, King of Cups. Hmm. For you gentlemen, you look great. For ladies, this could be a man you're speeding full, you're going full speed ahead right towards. You might not even know it. It's new. This could be brand new. And you're releasing the toxic stuff. If you were hanging on to an old karmic, that's done. You're ending it. You're moving into new, new, new. You're done with confusion. This is so nice. You're doing your healing work, which is really great. I feel like you still have a little ways to go on the healing. So if this is love or, you know, anything, just be careful you don't jump in too fast if you're still healing because it could be a train wreck. All right, you need to finish that healing process. If somebody wants to be your friend, take the time to get to know them as a friend. All right, so we have the fool. The fool is so getting ready. Look, not quite quite ready to step off the cliff like on this side but so making the plan wishing on the star making the plans preparing very nice so you're not quite ready yet because of you're still doing some healing i mean you're you're on the precipice right now you're right there you're on the edge you're on the edge of being you're between worlds if i had to put it in one Phrase. You're between worlds. You are ending and beginning something brand new. Really, really nice. And with the chariot here, the chariot is probably, it's funny because I thought these came out this way and had they, and they might have, which doesn't always, I don't always pay that close of mind. I always like to know what's going to come out in the middle. The rest I don't pay too much attention to, but I really should because sometimes they bring out some intuitive messages for me by pictures. And it's almost like the chariot is saying, bye, Felicia, because you guys know the reverse chariot in this deck for me is my bye, Felicia card. It's like that's the karmic right there or whoever was toxic for you. Bye, Felicia. I'm going. I'm out of here. Wow. Interesting. So I feel as though the chariot is you moving away from whoever this is. That, or whatever this was. It could have been a work situation. The work thing is right in the middle of your reading. So whatever this was for each of you, I feel it's coming to an end. You're having a brand new beginning that you literally manifested. Here's your ending right here. The world wasn't quite ready before, but now it is because the death card says this is happening. Here's your new beginning that was manifested by you. The rest comes to an end. And you're going to move right into something else full speed ahead really nice guys so let's get into this now this could be so many different things so let's see if we can't get to the bottom of really good reading all right spirit and angels anyone for the highest good for libra anyone with libra placements please tell us Please help us clarify the cards that we've already laid down. Send in the most important messages for the people that need them the most and help us to fully clarify the cards we've already laid down here. It's for the month of November 2019 for anyone with Libra placements. Okay, let's get into that. Um, wow, there's not a whole lot. Let's see what the devil is. What's the devil here, please? What's this devil doing here? Libra reading. Wow. You release this toxicity and you get a brand, an awesome new beginning. So far you have the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. Where was it? Ace of Wands. Ace of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. And all you got to do 
Just finish your healing and release whatever this toxic thing or person is. Beautiful. I love it, Libra. I love it. All right. Let's get into um, the Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here, please, for the Libra reading? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Wow. Okay. Knight of Wands reversed. This was obviously someone you either couldn't work with or they couldn't work with you. Again, Eight of Pentacles. Look, Eight of Pentacles is clarifying the Eight of Pentacles. King of Wands reversed. And, yeah, came out in the upright, the moon. All right, so, is there secrets around this man? Or is there something you're just that, that are unknown? Or is this you as a Libra man? It could be. King of Wands reverse can be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or it just could be someone who's coming out in this energy of the King of Wands reverse. Now, in the upright, I see him as a hero in this card. In, when he's in reverse, I see him as the opposite, kind of like a villain. But if this is you as a man, you could be going through something that involved a lot of murkiness, a lot of unknowns, a lot of confusion. I definitely saw that there was confusion before when it was on this side, but you're coming out of it. The moon also can represent that there was confusion or things that weren't known. I feel as though there's been a lot of confusion about something you were working on with a man. All right, now, if you are a man, it could be about you and confusion around something you were working on. Now, for some of you, this is definitely work because I think with Spirit putting out the Eight of Pentacles twice in the center, which is the focal point of the reading always for me, I feel as though I'm being told to specify to a lot of you this is a work situation, okay? Now, let's get moving on here. Why is the chariot here in this position? In the book, Goodbye Felicia position. <laughs> you guys might be moving away from a toxic work situation. Why is uh, the chariot in the Goodbye Fel Felicia position here? Oh, challenges. They both came out on their side. Okay, another ace. I just want to say you have all four ace. Well, you don't have the swords. You have the um, ace of wands twice. Two aces of wands, one ace of pentacles, and one ace of cups. They came out on their side. This is the, um, the Hierophant. Okay, so, is this, this is a new beginning in something spiritual. This can be, uh, a new beginning in a relationship. And this could be, like, it's on its side, so it's a challenge. Getting to something new in a contract, possibly. This can be spiritual contract or this can be physical contract. Somebody is moving away from, from something here. I feel a toxic situation. It could have been about work. There could have been issues with some kind of work situation, some kind of um, organization. The Hierophant can represent organizations or a contract of some sort. So the challenge is to have a new beginning in this area, but somebody's moving away from it. I feel like it could be a Cancer, could be you, um, could be a Taurus, could be a Capricorn. Um, there's a lot of signs here. All right, now let's get on with um, the confusion here. Seven of Cups. We are clearing up a lot of confusion around here. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Page of Wands, Five of Cups. Both of these came out in reverse. Five of Cups, Page of Wands, both in reverse. Okay, so I feel like some kind of news that came in is clearing something out. There was some kind of news that came in, but in reality, it's actually ending up, because see, it's reverse, so it's sometimes not great news, but it ends up bringing clarity to a situation and bringing you out of that sense of grieving that you were in. All right, so that's good, actually. Um, so something that comes in is actually going to help you stop grieving and get clearer about everything. I know I'm going totally backwards in your reading, but I'm being guided to do it, so I'm going to keep on doing it. Um, Four of Swords, why is it here? Libra reading oh, for November 2019. Why is the uh, Four of Swords here? 
Here we go. Devil in reverse. You're healing from the toxic situation. Same card. Devil in reverse. Whatever this toxic thing was, these are both reverse. Whatever this toxic thing was, is you needed to heal from it. You're still healing from it. So whatever this was, you're healing from it. And once you're healed, bam, bam, <laughs> amazing. All right, let's look at the, um, the Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here, please, for the Libra reading? Why is the Knight of Swords here? This Knight of Swords feels so full speed ahead to me. Knight of Swords, please. Too much, just one or two. Nope. Too many cards. Just one or two cards, please. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Libra reading. There we go. Gemini. Okay, so this is the Lovers. So Libra, either you are charging right into a Gemini <laughs> or them to you, or you are speaking up about something or going forward with something that has to do with a relationship. Let's hope it's not this toxic thing. This toxic thing's over. I mean, you would not be coming out looking like this if you were going to stay involved in something toxic. This is something new, I feel. I'm going to get another. Well, this is also a decision. You might have made a decision in love and you're going to make it really fast. So whether it's to you know, goodbye Felicia, or jump into something brand new, I don't know, but you need to get away from something toxic, but again, I have to warn you guys, if it's something brand new, I wouldn't, I wouldn't jump in, because I'd wait it out, you need to heal first, you can't leave a toxic situation and jump into something new, that would be like, it would be sabotage, you know, wouldn't work out, you need to heal first. But anyway, let's get one more. I feel like this is more about a decision you're going to suddenly make. And it's going to be like just, you're suddenly going to be like, I know what to do. I've made the decision. The lover's card can be all about a decision. I'm going to move forward, right, with something, into something else, into the unknown. I'm going to move into the unknown. Hey, maybe it's to be single. And for some of you, it's not about love. It's about work. So this like I said, lover's card can just talk about a decision in any arena that needs to be made. I'm going to get another one on it. Knight of Swords with the lovers. Knight of Swords with the lovers, please. Nope, way too many. Not even going to look at them. Knight of Swords with the Lovers, please. There we go. Page of Pentacles in reverse. This is something that's... I feel like it's something that didn't come through that was supposed to come through. Like something was supposed to come through, an offer, something... I would think it would be very practical with the Page of Pentacles something practical you are waiting for so you make a decision to bust a move it, for a lot of you this is about work it has nothing to do with love it's more about the decision for some of you it's like something the offer didn't come through could be a raise could be a bonus could be something now it could be friendship as well it could be something like that um it could be the offer to move in together. If it, you know, I'm trying to give you different scenarios because for some of you, this is love and some of you, it's work, friendship, something like that. Something didn't come through. So someone changes their mind, busts a move and decides to move into the unknown instead. Wow. All right, let's look at the King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here, please? Way too many, just flipped over. Okay, this is the Libra reading for November. Why is the King of Cups here? November 2019 for the whole month, this month. Why is the King of Cups here, please? Libra reading. King of Cups. Libra reading. There we go coming out of feeling trapped in your head. Eight of Swords. Reversed. Excellent. Somebody's getting out of getting out of this. This feeling of being trapped. This feeling of 
um, not being able to see what's ahead. This person's going into the unknown without without it. Like I'm not going to sit here and wait and figure. I'm just going. I'm going to do it. Just like the fool does when he's on this side. The fool's getting ready to do just that. Let's go into the fool before I go back to that one. Why is the fool here, please? Libra reading for November. Why is the fool here? There it is. The wheel of fortune. The new beginning. You're getting ready to jump. Once the fool does this, brand new beginning starts. Wheel of fortune. Okay, you're get you're you're there. You're right now. You're just getting out of your head. You're healing. This is all just. It's like we are. Like I said, you are. Did you? I forget what the cards are, but it's their card. Their oracle cards, and one of the cards is between worlds. If anybody can remember the name of the deck, let me know. I might even get it. I love that deck. But you know, there's a picture of like um, a flamingo, and one side of the card like if you were to look at the card one side of it has half the flamingo in like black and white and the other side has the flamingo in that pink beautiful and bright sunshine so like it's between worlds the, the flamingo is shown as half in and half out of something that's where you guys are at right now it's like you are literally like that that flamingo just needed to take one more step to be in the bright world. They were still keeping half into the dark world. So I feel like that's where you are. You're kind of half in this toxicity. And we've had the devil come out like several times here. Um, we're, oh, here it is. Yeah. You're half in this, but you're coming out of it. They're both in reverse. You're half stuck where you're coming out of this. And then you're half in the amazingness of, whoa, I'm not even done yet. Of, wait, it's still not done. Of this. You're still between worlds. This is where you're going. And this is fabulous, by the way. And this is where you've been. Don't forget the confusion. Don't forget the heartache. Don't forget all of that. I mean, this is where you've been. Okay, the devils should be in the upright because that's where you were at one point. You were here. And you're in the middle of getting out of all this to go to hear all this amazingness I showed you. Okay, so, I mean, you're between worlds right now, but it's it's just a matter of another step. Just like that card I'm telling you about, it's split. It's like a big oracle card like this. It's split right down the middle. Flamingo in the dark part of the body and flamingo all in the beautiful, bright, colorful on the other and it's split right down the middle all that flamingo needs to do is take another step and they're in they're in the bright beautiful world okay you're there that's where you are you're about to step into this beautiful world that you forgot existed amazing guys amazing okay wow i got chills right now i feel like there's you guys are teetering on something amazing coming your way it's coming all right, let's get you some after tarot here. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, please bring through the messages for the collective, or I'm sorry, for the Libras that resonated with this reading. Such a habit, guys. Please bring through the messages for the Libras that resonated with this reading for the month of November. I feel big changes coming for you guys. As soon as you just... Finish up whatever it is and take that step into the colorful world. You got it. For the month of November, Libra reading, what comes next, please? Show us what comes next. In this situation, what's going to come next for these Libras that are going to resonate with this reading? What comes next? What comes next, please? Okay. 
Whoa, there's a devil. <gasps> oh my gosh, why is this still coming out? Are you going to defeat the... Look at I defeated the devil. <laughs> That's exactly what I see. Look at this. I've got your backs. I feel like someone's going to come in and help you out. Look, this is a person who's been... Now, this could be a spirit guide or something. See this person? He's beaten. He's battered. He's bruised. He's been through a lot. And then this person kind of comes up and stands by him. And he's like, really? He's like, yep, I got your back. Like, surprisingly, someone's going to help you make that step, that step that's needed, that flamingo step to walk into the other side and stop being between worlds. You need to be in one world or the other, and let's hope it's the bright one. All right, we want you into the high vibrational world, not the low vibrational world. I feel like you're. this is saying I'm going to defeat the devil. I really do. I'm going to, of course, pull a card out for it. Strength. This is what it takes. Strength. This is all strength. I mean, this is like I have the strength for one more fight. I have the strength to defeat the devil. All right, let's get this. I want to know about the Five of Swords and Devil here, please. What comes next for the Libra reading for Libras? What comes next here? Five of Swords and the Devil in the After Tarot. What comes next? Nope, just one or two. What comes next here, please? Five of Swords, Devil, what comes next? Libra reading for November. There you go. Aww. Somebody is got, if somebody has your back, I'm telling you, somebody's coming in to help you. This can be platonic, it can be love, whatever it is for each of you, it's going to be different. These are two people that are going to agree to work together, help each other, whatever it is. Choosing a path. You're going to let your guard down or protect yourself from the toxic stuff and you're going to choose a path and you're going to have the strength to do it and you're going to take that leap of faith and it's going to change everything and you're not going to be between worlds anymore you're going to be in the bright world this cracks me up you're going to i literally think that you are going to resist your lower promptings resist any kind of toxicity and defeat it I really do. I think you have the strength to fight it this time, and you're just not going to keep falling into it. I think somebody with the devil showing up three times, I feel like somebody's really had a really hard time with either an addiction or a, a very karmic relationship that's been very hard to release from. Cut that karmic cord, call in Archangel Michael, and do a cord-cutting ceremony. And because you guys have amazing, amazing energy coming at you the minute you release this karmic, whatever it is, situation, person, whatever it is, the minute you release them for good, done, no more contact, no more phone calls, no more, no more, no more, right? Release their nasty energy. When you are done, you're going to walk into that, you're going to be the flamingo that's walking into the new world and it's going to be you saw your cards it's going to be amazing all right let's get you some advice from angels angels please send through some advice for anyone who resonated with this reading for the libra reading for november 2019 what should their focus be for november i saw courage it was in my hand Gratitude. Wow, I love that one. I never see that one. Healing. Love. These are great. Look how great your cards are. Healing, gratitude, and light. This is coming into that light. I was talking about that flamingo stands in the dark on one half of his body, but the, the other half is going towards the beautiful, bright light. Whole new world. You're going to step into a whole new world. And make sure you show your gratitude for your angels and your spirit guides because they're helping you get there. They're sending messages through me to give you. They're sending messages through you that you may or may not be listening to. Okay? Healing, guys. Healing's coming. Okay, good luck, guys. I feel like really good's coming for you. Just listen to your intuition. And if you'll know, if you're the one who's stuck, I mean, three times the devil came out, you'll know that you're... But thankfully by the time we get to the the bottom here you're releasing the devil right so just be careful because the devil came back up again in tar and after tarot so 
but it came up with this feeling like I swear when I looked at it I'm like this is somebody defeating the devil I'm done with you I defeat you beautiful okay guys let me know if this was your reading please comment down below exchange energy with me it helps bring you into the readings also if you enjoyed the reading I would appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up it helps the um, readings get circulated to people which helps the channel um, if you want to give it a th thumbs down, the same thing applies. It'll still do the same thing. Anything you do for it helps it get circulated, any interaction. Okay, guys, thanks so much. Have a good one. Bye-bye.